everyone! Normally I talk about books, but today I want to talk anime. 2017 sort of unofficially became the year that I wanted to find out what I liked in short stories. It was particularly solidified by a particular short story collection I read this year and loved and helped me kind of figure out for once and for all what I'm looking for in short stories and what works for me. And hopefully I am now better equipped to find the short stories that I really like because I've read quite a few collections that didn't work for me. but struggled for a long time to figure out why. This relates to anime because while I didn't set out in the beginning of 2017 trying to figure out what I liked in short stories, I do want to set out in 2018 to figure out what I like in anime. This is because I was a longtime anime fan pretty much for my entire life and it's something that was a big part of my media consumption. It's something that I really loved. It led me to discovering Japan and Japanese culture and I later then became a Japanese major, studied the language for several years, studied abroad in Japan, and then really really dedicated myself to learning more about Japanese history, culture, and literature, um, which are things that I've done and talked about on this channel in the past. My brief foray into software development kind of drew me out of my Japanese study, unfortunately, because I was learning software. But now that I've kind of I've left that industry, I want to go back to something that I really loved. I would love to pick up Japanese language learning again and start working on that again because that is something that I really truly do love. And while I don't think it's going to be a career thing for me anymore, um, I do love it, and I love learning about Japanese history, language, and culture, and I want to continue to do so even if it's outside of the academic setting. And one thing that I have fallen out of is watching anime. I didn't even really watch that much anime while I was studying Japanese because I was much more focused on learning other facets of the culture. And so what I'm trying to say is I want to get back to anime. Um, I've continued to play video games and loving Japanese video games like Persona 5 played it this year, it was incredible. But yeah, I'm kind of clueless when it comes to anime, so I wanted to just talk through some of my favorite anime throughout my life, my history with anime, and then I have an ask of you to help me figure out what things I should watch and explore. So as I mentioned before, I've loved anime for almost my entire life. I remember watching Sailor Moon when I was five or six and like playing Sailor Moon on the playground. And my love of Sailor Moon led me to discover Toonami, which was this block of like two or three hours a night on weeknights on Cartoon Network where uh, they would just play anime. And my first love was Dragon Ball Z, which I was very emotionally invested in, despite the fact that there wasn't much of a plot, and the plot didn't really change very much from arc to arc. Loved it anyway, very invested in that. Um, and then through that I kind of fell into Gundam Wing, which I still have my really old copies of the DVDs, which kind of don't work anymore um, in some parts, but I don't know where else to watch it. But this was the first show that I really loved, and more importantly was the first fandom I ever participated in. I found Gundam Wing fandom online and started reading fanfiction. A lot of it was probably too mature for my age, but it also helped me discover things like slash fiction, which I was very invested in, um, because in this show all of the main characters are teenage boys, so there are just so many different pairings, and I definitely had favorites. Also Duo, one of the characters in this show, was my username for a really long time. It was a very strange thing for me to like as a child because it's extremely political. It's a political drama, and I think that a lot of the political nuance was lost on me because it's all about coups and different alliances and the, how those alliances change and factions and then also of course fighting space robots. It's the only Gundam series that I've ever actually watched all the way through, but I absolutely loved it to pieces, still do. I've rewatched it so many times. One of my favorites for sure. And then several years later on Toonami, I discovered Rurouni Kenshin, which was kind of my first discovery of Japan as a different place. I was young enough that I you know, could understand that there were different countries and different cultures, but I was insulated in my education to the point where I didn't really understand those differences and, and had never really explored them or had the interest in doing so or the means to. But Rurouni Kenshin is a historical anime that takes place during the Meiji period of Japan, which is a period of Japan after Japan was insulated for several hundred years and, and mostly cut off from the rest of the world. Um, the United States essentially forced their borders to open and this triggered a civil war in Japan and this takes place post that civil war um, between the imperialists and those who wanted to stay more traditional. And it was a major period of modernization in Japan. It was a kind of a change of identity for Japan, um, their role in the global stage, but also a mix of like European and Japanese culture kind of meshing together for the first time. I was completely obsessed. Again, followed online fandoms, blasted the soundtrack to the chagrin of my family, I'm sure for hours and hours. I absolutely loved it, but it was the first time I thought 
Okay, I understand that these shows are from Japan, but this is such a different history and culture than I've ever been exposed to before, and I wanted to understand and explore that. It was the first time I ever really wanted to learn Japanese, it was the first time that I ever started studying Japanese history on my own, and it sort of led to me becoming a Japanese major, like, seven or eight years later, which is really, really cool. I have rewatched it. It does hold up for the most part. Also, Samurai X, so good. And then from there, I sort of graduated from watching Toonami to, to watching Adult Swim, which had a different block of anime that they would show nightly. But this was sh these were shows that had mild violence and swearing. So, you know, a little more exciting. And this is where I first discovered Cowboy Bebop, which is a masterpiece. I absolutely love this show. It is just the most brilliant combination of art, music, characters, character development, story, it's beautiful. I've watched this so many times, I know the story backwards and forwards, I listen to the soundtrack still, it's, a, it's an amazing soundtrack. Um, it, there are several different episodes that make me cry, like Jupiter Jazz, um, The Real Folk Blues obviously, just makes me an absolute mess. It's a beautiful, beautiful anime. In my opinion, probably the best one ever made, and um, I love it to pieces. And then of course, also, Samurai Champloo, which I think is a little bit less good than this one, but still pretty incredible the way that they mesh the Tokugawa period of Japan versus like rap and hip hop soundtrack and, and incorporating things like breakdancing into the fighting style. Also brilliant. Love this one as well, just not quite as much as the predecessor. I also fell in love with Full Metal Alchemist, which they did play on Adult Swim, although now I've seen Brotherhood, and Brotherhood is much better, but I love both of those shows very much. Another one that I really, really loved was The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, which is probably one of the most subversive anime that I've ever seen, because it was just so surprising and playful, but also so strange, because it seems like it's just a show about a Japanese high school club, and kind of the wacky antics they get into, but then things like aliens show up, and then you find out that the leader of the club is God, but she doesn't know it. It just gets really weird. I also really love the movie, and I'm really sad to think that there might not be at a conclusion, because the movie ends on a huge cliffhanger, and I tried reading the books, but I just didn't like them as much, so I probably will never ha know what happens at the after the end of that movie, but I absolutely love the Haruhi Suzumiya franchise. I think it's so creative and well done, and really plays with the anime genre, and, and subverts it in a lot of really unexpected ways while keeping up with a lot of the same kind of familiar tropes that we all love. And then after that, honestly, the only anime that is even kind of modern, and it's still like five years old, that I've watched in recent years was Madoka Magica, which is absolutely brilliant. Again, one of the best anime that I've seen, and it's one, and one of its greatest strengths is the fact that it's so subversive of particularly the magical girl genre. It starts off as a magical girl series, same genre that Sailor Moon is in, where girls get magical powers, you know, they are fancy transformation scenes into different outfits, and then they save the world and fight evil, but it really turns it on its head in a way that I don't want to spoil, but was one of the most heartbreaking, shocking, and beautifully done things I've ever seen. Don't watch the movies, they're not as good, especially the third one that adds on extra content and just kind of ruins everything that the show did. I just don't like the movie. But the show itself is perfect and brilliant. I, I love it very much as well. And so this, those are kind of all the anime that I've really loved through my life. I've watched many more, but these are the ones that are the standouts that have really stuck in my mind. Oh, I bought the DVDs, obviously. Of course, I can't fail to mention the uh, Studio Ghibli films, my favorite being Spirited Away. Um, one of my other close favorites is Kiki's Delivery Service, but I love them all. Going to the Studio Ghibli exhibit that they have in Japan where you get to see all of like the original drawings and uh, like a staged ashtray full of Miyazaki cigarettes plus the amazing gift shop, the little film that you get to see there that they only play there. It was a beautiful experience. Um, and then one of my favorite films of all time, not Ghibli, but is a Japanese animated film, is Paprika, which I think is fantastic. Beautiful, so weird. The animation is just great. I love basically everything about this. So yeah, like I said, I've watched many more series. These are the ones that I've just loved the most or have stuck with me the most over time and have really influenced my watching over time. But I really want to get back into it. I've tried over the past couple of years to start some of the most popular series and have just really had a lot of false starts. Attack on Titan just did not work for me. I watched probably the first like five or six episodes and just didn't get into it. I also have tried Sword Art Online, which I did not really get on with very well, and Steins Gate. I guess I didn't get far enough. I watched I think four or five episodes, but I've heard it doesn't really get good until like episode 10 or something, which is a lot of commitment for something that's supposed to be that good, but I've heard it's great. So my ask of you is that if you have watched a lot of anime, I would love recommendations based on what I've said. 
based on the things that I've loved um, and the kind of things I've talked about that I've loved. Obviously these shows are all very different and I love them at different points in my life, at different maturity levels, but I think that they're also things that hold up for me. But things that are sometimes subversive, unexpected, but have beautiful animation. Animation quality is definitely high. Um, character development is super high. Uh, storytelling obviously is super high. If it has a great soundtrack, that's also something that I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, if you have recommendations for anime for me, I hope that a project of mine in 2018 is going to be exploring anime. I hope to make videos on a relatively frequent basis talking about the things that I've tried, what's worked for me, what hasn't, and I want to take your recommendations into account because there is so much out there that I haven't seen that I don't really know where to start. So things that are newer that I just don't know about yet, or things, hidden gems that I may have missed because I was watching all of the really popular mainstream things that made it over to the States and might have missed some, some really great things that are, are less accessible, I would love those recommendations. I have Hulu, I have Netflix and Amazon, and I also have a Crunchyroll account so I should have access to tons and tons of stuff. I prefer subs to dubs also is a thing. The ones that I watched originally dubbed, like Gundam Wing or Cowboy Bebop, I will tend to watch the dub although I'm sure the subs are better. I'm just familiar with those voices, but in terms of new shows I watch, I prefer subs much more than dubs. And I'm really open to genre. I don't care if it's comedy, drama, fantasy. I'm really open to trying basically anything, and I would need your help. So if you have recommendations, I would love them. Like I said, I hope to make this a thing in 2018 where I talk you through my experience trying to get back into anime. I really also hope that I can get into some manga in the next year, but that's gonna be a totally different thing. And I at least have some series as starting points for manga, but with anime, I'm really just like in this, I have no idea where to start. So I would love some help. Tell me about some of your favorite anime that I haven't mentioned. Um, also, if you want, you can check out my, my anime list profile. I have one of those. I've tried to make sure that every anime that I've ever watched or at least started or given up on are included there, as well as I have a big list of things that I want to try. So I would love your recommendations. I'm really excited for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.